everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Rachel Ray here and today I'm going to be doing two book flip throughs. One is for scratch art and one is for coloring. I'm lumping them together because they're both about llamas and as you know I have a well I suppose a strange fascination with llamas. I love them and that's how Pega Llama Corn was born. <laughs> but anyway, let's move into these books and have a look. So I'll put the coloring to the side for the moment and we're going to get started with the scratch art. Both of these were found at a local store called Mr. Price. I believe the closest equivalent for the for the US that I have is Dollar Tree or maybe Dollar General. So um, these are definitely made for kids, but this channel is not for children. So please, if you are under the age of 18, uh, this is not directed at you. This is directed towards adults who would like to relax. So here we start. It gives you some hints and tips if this is your first time ever doing scratch art. Um, it's just saying, you know, to be careful, always close the book when you're finished. Make sure that you're scratching on a very flat surface. Uh, you could use put a piece of blank paper between the pages so that you don't accidentally scratch through if you're scratching pretty hard. You want to be careful of that stuff. And then it's just giving you suggestions for how to move the pen. As you can see, <laughs> um, I picked up the best book that I could find in the store but someone had already tested it out, clearly. <laughs> um, so yeah, and the one cool thing about this is you have the scratch art page here, and then when you flip it over, you actually have a coloring page on the other side. And it tells you, like it has these fun little captions like, this fuzzy llama is packed and ready for an adventure. <laughs> and each page is more or less like that. It gives instructions in case, you know, you might need some creative uh, prompting. So like design some cool pattern blankets for these fluff fluffy llama twins. So cute. I love this one. This one is me. Absolutely. <laughs> this llama is teaching his best dance moves to his friends. So I really like this as well because there's plenty of room for you to, you know, write things or... You might, you might want to, you could color the lines or you could color in the lines. It's all up to you. Here it's saying, use your brightest crayons to design an eye-popping banner for the llama party. And look at them, they're eating cakes and cupcakes. So cute. It's time for lunch. Use your pens to doodle more treats for this yummy feast. And on this page, they're holding a banner outside their, the houses. And it says, these llamas are decorating their hut, ready for a summer festival. It sounds like a lot of fun. Oh no, <laughs> oh, look at the face on this llama, so cute. It says, the llamas love to play fun party games, especially when there's candy up for grabs. And here they're having a little disco, so cute. Oops. It says, party on! Everyone's having a great time at the Llama Disco. Now, this is your pen, by the way. I didn't show it to you. It's actually attached with a piece of ribbon, which is fantastic because you won't lose it that way. Um, I know I would. <laughs> Here we have some prints and then we have some paint splotted on the llama. And it says, oh no, this clumsy llama has plotted paint all over the floor. Use bright rainbow shades to fill in the prints. So whether you color or do scratch art or both, it's kind of a fun experiment for adults and kids. Home sweet home, use bold shades to decorate this llama's cozy house. Oh, look at the flowers, so cute. Funky flower garlands are the perfect accessory for a summer party. Oh, look at the bird. So cute. These fluffy friends love to spend their days relaxing in the sun. And then here at the back, there's actually an, a book. So you can color this book 
I'm not going to read the whole book, but it's so cute. It's all about Larry the Llama and his adventures. And it uses the pictures, some of the pictures from this scratch art book. And it talks all about the party, the summer festival. So, so adorable. Love it. So what do you think? What do you think of the book? I really enjoy this book. It is so cute. So again, you can check this out. This is made by bookoli.com, B-O-O-K-O-L-I.com. So in case you're interested in this particular book. And then we have here, <laughs> Kaleidoscope Coloring Llamas and More. So when you open up this kit, it actually does come with coloring supplies. It has four pastel markers and two glitter pens. And then inside, you've got this kind of interesting book. So I'm just going to see if I can center it a bit more for you here. Yeah. Now, when you open it up, the pages are orientated this way. I think this is great because whether you're left-handed or right-handed, you'll be able to color this page. Now, you will have to move this if you're left-handed, but you know what I mean? Like, there's no binding to get in your way. Another cool thing about this book is that it's one one design per page. So you can tear them out before you color them if you wish, or you can not worry about colors bleeding onto the back. Um, I do recommend that you place pages of blank white paper between them if you're using markers or other pens that might bleed through. But just as best practice, it might be a good idea to do that anyway, even if you're using crayons, just because you'll get marks where the crayons kind of dig into the page. Anyway, I'm not, I'm not an expert on coloring, but those are the things I've picked up. I thought this is super cute, so fluffy. He's ready to make some wool. <laughs> and this little guy, you can see him. I don't remember what kind of bird that is. Is it a kookaburra or something? I don't know why that comes to mind, but anyway, you've got some prickly pear cactuses and it looks like there might be a storm coming, but he is so handsome. So handsome. Here we have like a geometric one, kind of cute. If you want to go crazy with um, symmetrical coloring, this might be a good page for you. Here we have like an anime style. So cute. They're in love. This one, I, I already colored this. I colored this a few days ago using my Arteza Real Brush pens. I have a 48 pack. I believe it's, yeah, it's a 48 pack. <laughs> I had to turn around to check. Um, I'm not very good at coloring, but I enjoy it every once in a while. I get, I get a little urge to do it. I forgot to color that bit in. But as you can see, like there's not just llamas, it's also flowers. And here we have a bird. A parrot and look that's the one that's on the cover and all those really delicate butterflies I would love to know how you would go go about coloring them would you use maybe a uh, watercolor I'm not sure if this paper is designed for watercolor I probably wouldn't recommend it it feels more like a marker or crayon book because it is I think designed for beginners but some of these pages are just so beautiful and you could get kind of crazy with the colors, you know? So look at that one. She's so pretty. I love pages like this because I can get lost in coloring in different design elements and I like that. Same with this one. And in the background, you could always fill it in with whatever you want. So these would be nice, you know, if you're just looking to zen out. <laughs> I love this page. I absolutely love this page. I don't know why. They're just so cute. Here we have more flowers. I like this one as well, probably because of the dogwood, but also just the style. It kind of looks like he didn't or she didn't lift the pen when they were, when they were, designing this in some places and I like that so if you're really into the American Southwest or 
into South American kind of design ideas and coloring books, I think you'll really, really enjoy this one. And even if it isn't your style, maybe you'll find that you really feel drawn to these pages. And look how pretty. I love this page. Look at that. Look at the little mice, little field mice. And these are poppies. <gasps> And I think that could be like a little mole or something and a bee. It's almost like um, a hidden picture type situation. <laughs> so cute. Look at that. So cute. This could be like wallpaper. I'd love that as wallpaper. Or the other one I showed you. So more of these pages. Oh, <gasps> look at the eyelashes. They actually do have eyelashes like that in real in in person. <laughs> if you ever get the opportunity to go to an alpaca farm, I totally recommend it. It's so much fun. Unless you're allergic to lanolin and then maybe hold off. Oh, <gasps> look at the baby. <laughs> That's so cute. And there's some owls up here. We've got the stars, a little luna moth. How pretty. A nice rabbit. Ooh, look at that one. That's cool. It kind of looks like a tattoo, doesn't it? Who would get this as a tattoo? <laughs> I know some of you would. <laughs> oh, look at the deer. How pretty. That is trippy. That is trippy and cool. So that's the last page there. And see how this is the the book actually being secured into this outer bit so you can take it out if you want say you don't want to keep it in this case that's okay too you can you can do what you like um this is made by hinkler books h-i-n-k-l-e-r hinkler.com they have it looks like they are the images are copyright to the book to the book company or to shutterstock.com. So it's possible that some of these were free online um, coloring pages or images. Um, and I think you can also, it says that there's also a Hinkler Books in Australia. So go to hinkler.com and check that out if you're interested. But I hope you enjoyed this little video just showing you the two llama books I got. And hopefully in the next, I don't know, coming months, maybe I'll feel like coloring a bit more and or trying scratch art for the first time. If you'd be interested in seeing something like that, please let me know down in the comments of this video so that I can prepare something for you all. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video and please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, if you haven't already subscribed and you'd like to see more crafting videos, please subscribe to my channel by clicking the little button underneath this video and then ringing the bell just to make sure that you get notified whenever I post a video or go live. Thank you all so much for coming by and I'll see you all in my next video. Take care guys. Bye!